All right, so the way that I clean up the inside bore on these guys is this rod, this black rod is part of a gun cleaning kit, uh, cleaning things like rifles and shotguns. And it comes with these tips on the end. You can't see it, but there's a tip here that's like an eye, it has a hole in it. And what I've done is I've taken an old pair of my pantyhose that I got a runner in. And you know, I like my legs to look uniformly even as far as tan. So pantyhose are great for that. And you don't have to shave every day. But you wrap this around here. And the good thing about this pantyhose is it's just got enough bit of texture to it to knock off any debris inside of the hole without changing the bore dimension. So I'm gonna see if I can't do this one-handed. Mm. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Give me a second here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just run this down here until it comes out the end. And then back again. Shut the lathe off. And it tidies it up. I don't, let's see what we can do as far as this. You can see it's pretty clean in there. It's hard for the camera to focus, but it knocks off all the debris inside of there without changing the bore dimensions. And that's the last thing I want to do on this pipe. I'd rather have it stay as original as possible. two water absorbing easies for the tenors and I have a Hitchings high resonance base. Um, a couple days ago my friend and I were having beers when I finished kind of getting them all done and we just threw in some easies and the base wasn't giving me much volume so I changed it out to this. So have a little listen to this and uh, see what it sounds like with the channer. <laughs> Seems like it's a little bit conical, the bore in here. It's rather loose when you first put it on, because you see it just popped right off, and then it gets quite snug. So I might need to ream it out, but if this area towards the top of the chamber seems to be more of the original bore, I won't ream it out, and I will just uh, change this hemp right here to uh, the thicker white hemp and do a hatch 
kind of rough crisscross pattern, which will help to alleviate some of that tightness there because the crisscross pattern, the hemp drops down into each other. And I, I do have a video on that. It's kind of a good way to uh, fix this sort of a problem without having to send your pipes off to get worked on. So really very pleased with the uh, tone out of these pipes. Okay, I'm gonna make a, another recording because after I listen back to the one with the channer, the channer is too loud for the mic and it's really drowning out the drones. And then the recording that I made a few days ago with my friend here after having a couple beers was uh, the reads that were I put in here were from a set of glens. And so I, they were calibrated for the glens and I didn't want to mess with them in the Hendersons and I just wasn't getting much out of the bass. So this, again, this is the same as what I just played with the channer, but uh, let me probably take it out the channer. So two increased absorption, easy drone reads for the tenors and a Hitchings high resonance bass. <laughs> a little bit better in the recording uh, without the mic being uh, drowned out by the tanner so really good sound out of these pipes all right all right it's already going so i just threw reeds in this thing and i've got my makeshift tying or what are these things called cords drone cords out of a tie-in cord and have not have not turned these on yet so we'll see see how these drone reeds are not set for Henderson's but we'll see what happens here <laughs> So let's see if I can't, no, I don't want to mess with these too much because these reeds are set up for a different pipe. So let's see if we can't bring this face down a bit. Oh, that's just really buggered. Look at how, it's all ridiculous now. I've seen plenty of people competing like that. So, all right. <laughs> seems a little bit quiet for being at Henderson but again these reeds are set up for a Glen bagpipe so man for a free set of bagpipes can't really complain about that bass is kind of quiet huh <laughs> 